Okay, let's start our today's Abhidhamma study, reciting the Mordasa three times together. <clears throat> Modasa Bhagavato Arahado Sama Sambudasa Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambudasa Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arahado Sama Sambudasa Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to Abhidhamma class. Uh, we already <clears throat> finished uh, chapter 8. So we are going to study uh, chapter 9, which is the last of <clears throat> the last chapter of Abhidhamma Sangha. So uh, we will finish soon in this year, <clears throat> this uh that's a series of Abhidhamma study. So this will cover for, for all st the stages of the, the basic level of Abhidhamma ASM. So here uh, we will start from the introduction parts. Introduction about the two types of meditation. This is not <clears throat> new one. We have already talked about the Samatha. Uh, several times in in the previous lecture because <clears throat> when we explain about the the classification of jhana so samatha is the way to attain the jhana that is why we we need to to talk about the practice of samatha calm meditation <clears throat> and for vipassana vipassana inside knowledge <clears throat> this also for the attainment of Mecca and Pala, Vipassana is the way. That's why we have discussed for some parts. And here, we just need to follow the <clears throat> Abhidhamata Sangha text and, and how the object of Samatha meditation and Vipassana meditation is explained in the, in the Abhidhamata Sangha text itself. So here, <clears throat> the page number is 300 and and 29, you can start from the Comprehensive Manual of Bidama, page 329, to study chapter 9. <clears throat> okay, here, uh, the first one is Kamatana, uh, Bidamata Sangaha. Uh, in this session, it introduced the word Kamatana. <clears throat> so the Kamatana, uh, if we translate, Feel ash, feel or action, or actually it is called the uh, the literal meaning is walk place, wherever uh, the walk is done, the walk is doing. <clears throat> then you can say that is gamma tana because gamma is walk, tana is place, walk place. Yeah. Actually, uh, later on, the word gamma tana is used for the meditation subject, meditation subject. <clears throat> Because the uh, the walk refers to the meditation or mental development, so the not referring to the specific area of residence uh, or place is the object itself. <clears throat> when a person close to eye and paying attention to the subject, the subject is is regarded as the walk place of meditation. <clears throat> And also, uh, we can see the workplace for the attainment or workplace for the contemplation. Uh, then the Vagamatana become <clears throat> and designated to, to mean the meditation subject, other than using the original workplace or the common workplace. So when you you hear the kamatana, and you need to understand this is talking about the subject of meditation. Then <clears throat> this chapter is named as the kamatana sangaha because this is talking about the the subject of meditation and also uh, 
the process <coughs> or meditation progress up to the attainment or jhana as a result of the, the calm meditation. And the attainment of Mega and Pala, including the Niroda Samapadi, uh, as a result of inside meditation or the Niroda Samapadi, this is the combination. So, so calm and inside coming together and then it can give the result of the Niroda Samapadi. <clears throat> or on the other hand, it's called the Sanya Vedita Niroda Samapadi. So the uh, stillness of the, the perception and feeling, especially this in, uh, emphasize go to the perception and feeling because they are considered as, as the leaders of the mentality group. <clears throat> okay, so well, let's see two types of meditation, calm and insight. So development or calm. Here, <clears throat> the big body introduced the development or, or insight as the a Buddhist Buddhist tip form of meditation. So it is said in the literature, only when <clears throat> the Buddha uh, appear in the world and teach the Dhamma, uh, the people can practice Vipassana meditation up to the attainment of Megapala, uh, except the, the Bajika Buddha. So, <clears throat> so Bajika Buddha, uh, as the solitary solitary Buddha or solitary enlightened person, uh, they call Dibalo uh, by their own means to attain the the Arhatship, level of Arhatship. Um, the Vipassana meditation can be developed up to the attainment by the Bajika Buddha by themselves <clears throat> without hearing from anyone. And but they cannot teach to the uh, attainment of mega pala, and that is why <clears throat> and it's, it is mentioned that only when the Buddha appear in the world, Buddha can and describe and can reveal the method uh, of vipassana meditation practice up to the attainment of mega pala. <clears throat> so uh, before. On the Buddha's eyes, uh, enlightenment. The non Buddhist school, non Buddhist school, different group of meditation practitioner, they also can practice the calm meditation, samatha meditation, but they, they didn't practice vipassana meditation. And <clears throat> that is why uh, we can understand the insight vipassana meditation is uh, specifically belong to the, uh, the Buddhism. <clears throat> then here after the the, the Buddha's uh, teaching for the Vipassana meditation is to discover the truth and to, to explain how to discover the truth <clears throat> true nature so this is not for the attainment of jhana uh, inside meditation is for the attainment of the mega and pala, and that's through the understanding of of the things as they really are. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> in the sutta, it is mentioned the uh, the way of or samatha meditation and vipassana meditation. So, in the Anguttara Nikaya, it is emphasized by, through the practice of calm meditation one can develop the power of consciousness, power of the, the, the jitta. So it is called the jitta bhavana. <clears throat> By develop, development of the jitta, uh, in this sutta it is mentioned the he can eradicate the raga. So raga is synonym of the dana. So <clears throat> well, among the two roots, to root of the the suffering so avijja and bawadana so bawadana uh the the, <clears throat> the power of samatha meditation leading to the eradication of the craving or the greed raga 
and attachment we can translate in different way. And for the vipassana, so through the vipassana practice, one can develop the power of wisdom. Power of wisdom. So by the power, by the development of the power of wisdom, one can eradicate the ignorance, awija. So a calm emphasis on the this suppression and eradication of the raga and sanunewa of the bawadana and vipassana emphasize <clears throat> to remove the ignorance. That's why if we consider uh, about the two roots of the suffering and both are important come and insight. So if someone can practice samatha and vipassana together, it will be a, a, the best way. <clears throat> for some, they, they especially have the preference for the inside meditation and they just practice the inside meditation other than development of the, the, the concentration <clears throat> up to the starting level. And some, they, they practice calm meditation first and after that they continue to the inside meditation. So <clears throat> here they are for the uh, non-Buddhist school, so, <clears throat> although they practice the uh, Samatha meditation, their uh, highest achievement is just the jhana, <clears throat> attainment of the jhana and in the next life. Uh, after the death moment of this life, and then they were reborn in the Brahma realm as a result of the jhana. Uh, this is their high attainment. And for the uh, Buddhist way, one can practice the concentration. Then that concentration can be the firm foundation, the stable foundation for the practice of inside meditation. So, <clears throat> So if a person practice the uh, samatha meditation first, calm meditation after that, and continuing to the inside meditation, also very good way, you know, you know because in several places, uh, Buddha mentioned the samatha or samadhi is the base of the jnana, vipassana. And also if we, if we also how the, <clears throat> the wisdom come into who appear in the mental process is due to the concentration. So or in the Pali day, they see the Samahi Doyata Buddha and Bajanadi. One can and see <clears throat> the things as they really are when he, his mind is concentrated. So uh, without the mind, without the concentration of mind, it is hard to see the things as they really are, which is called the inside meditation, the walk or inside meditation. <clears throat> so, um, uh, this is the two types of meditation. And let's continue to know more about the Samatha and Vipassana. So, Samatha is, uh, uh, is translated as calm and referring to the quietude of mind. The mind must be quiet, still, and calm down. Then, <clears throat> this Samatha Although they, they are uh, reference to the different um, meanings specifically, but uh, the concentration samadhi is very similar. And they share the, uh, the same process. You know, one who develops the samadhi uh, need, to, uh, need to practice the calm meditation. <clears throat> but uh, through the vipassana meditation, inside meditation, also one can develop the, the power of samadhi, the positive quality of the concentration, uh, along with the wisdom, the so inside knowledge. <clears throat> but here, the samatha uh, is defined as the one-pointedness of mind. We, <clears throat> we remember that the among the 52 mental fetters, one, one is called the Ikagada. Ikagada, <clears throat> that is called the one-pointedness of mind. But although this is uh, Samatha meditation emphasized as the um, one-pointedness of mind, they define, define it as the one-pointedness of man. But uh, not all one-pointedness of mind, 
no all jit uh jitta sikagata. So ikagata meant the fetus is not called the samatha. Because because if, if you remember that the the ikagata meant the feta is included under the group of universal mental fetus is associated with the every types of consciousness. But uh, at the moment of every types of consciousness, we cannot say uh, the practice of samatha or samadhi. <clears throat> and that's why uh, we have to know what is the difference and what is the, uh, the, the similarities of uh, between here three wa we can say the samatha and samadhi and ikakata <clears throat> but whenever we point out the samadhi there's no no separate mental feather of samadhi although we translate the concentration there's no concentration mental feather at all in the <clears throat> abhidhamma uh, expression uh, but this samadhi is referring to the the work or the the ability or uh, Men, ikagata, the mental feta, are all one pointedness of mind. But not all one pointedness of mind is called ikagata, called samadhi. But here in this case, uh, unlike the mindfulness, so for the case of mindfulness, was, we can find only in the positive case, in the beautiful who consciousness arises and the Mindfulness arise. That's why only the Sama Sati can be found. <clears throat> There's no Mecha Sati. Uh, but in the Samadhi concentration, it can be the, in both sides of the Sama right and Mecha round. So this Ekagada come, come um, with the um, unwholesome consciousness, unwholesome consciousness, and given the certain power to accomplish the unwholesome uh, deed, evil deed. At that moment, <clears throat> we can say that is called mecha samadhi. So here, <clears throat> the samadhi can be in sama and mecha, right and wrong. So this referring to the, the mental feathers or one pointness of mind. <clears throat> okay, so let's continue talking about the <clears throat> samatha practice. So samatha practice uh, is the power of the one pointness of mind in the eight meditative attainment. This is referring to the highest level. <clears throat> For the beginner, uh, they cannot uh, attain the, any of the eight meditative attainment. But we can say he is practicing samatha meditation, focusing on the sari meditation subject. <clears throat> any of the 40. And we will explain the 40 meditation subject. And here, uh, for the highest level, for five metrics per jhana, we already <clears throat> study in the in the wave of Abhidhamma, they are in five, five jhana. But in the Sutta, it always appears the, the four, four jhana, four jhana only. And in, with the immaterial sphere, jhana, so these are considered as the eight meditated attainment. <clears throat> so these attainment are called the uh, the one pointness of mind, one pointness of mind. So uh, the the mind through the practice of calm meditation or the samatha meditation is is the the wavering nature is coming down and reduce and uh, the come to the uh, the lowest level and the mind can stay with the meditation object long times to have the certain level of concentration <clears throat> certain level of one pointness of mind then that is called the attainment the jhana <clears throat> so samatha meditation and samatha refers to the one pointness of mind in the starting level. Or the vipassana, uh, which is translated as inside, the seeing the a diverse way, different way, <clears throat> is mean uh, not like the samatha, we samatha just focusing on 
the meditation object, meditation subject, and then try to develop the, the power of consciousness. For vipassana, to learn about the things, <clears throat> need to approach <clears throat> the things um, as they really are. Sorry. So here, inside meditation is is approaching to the phenomena term of the in terms of character is there, the impermanent suffering and unself. Not only the way of impermanence, it needs to approach in the suffering and unself as well. And also not only a single way of the suffering. So understanding come through the uh, the seeing in the best way different way of uh, approach, different way of seeing, give the proper understanding in the practice of vipassana. <clears throat> and this exactly refers to the, the function of wisdom, wisdom faculty in the second chapter. We we give the name of Panindriya, with the word Indriya, so wisdom faculties is <clears throat> to uncover the nature of things. So when the person through the practice of vipassana meditation and he penetrates the nature of things as they really are, he understands. And this is the, the power of inside knowledge and <clears throat> the power of wisdom. And, and through the maturity of the understanding of things as they really are, the development of inside knowledge, and he attained the mega. <clears throat> After that, the as a result is Phala comes. So mega and Phala attain through the vipassana meditation. <clears throat> so okay, so if we he say uh, in short way, samatha meditation, one pointedness of mind is key time, and then to develop and to, to subside the wavering of the mind, <clears throat> and. Or the vipassana meditation to learn about the things uh, as they really are and focusing by way of impermanence so when someone understands through the inside knowledge uh, about the things uh, in in truth or uh, nature and he learn about the impermanence the the condition of phenomena have the nature of impermanence then observing the impermanence, he understand the nature of suffering and nasa. <clears throat> this is the, the, the way of vipassana meditation. Okay, so <clears throat> as a result of the uh, samatha meditation, let me talk about the jhana. Actually, this time, jhana, we already explained in the former chapter, starting from the chapter one. There, yeah? in chapter one, the classification of jhana chitta. Jhana chitta come to appear. Uh, then we have discussed about the jhana. And also in the chapter four, in the chapter four, oh, we discussed about the cognitive process of the attainment of jhana. And here the the word jhana come again <clears throat> um, to give the is the how the person can attain the jhana in this <clears throat> certain practice of meditation. Okay, so here the jhana absorption. So if we talk about the jhana and we need to talk about the jhana fetters because <clears throat> Jhana is not consciousness. Although we identify the consciousness, this is the jhana consciousness, jhana jitta uh, here. Uh, but uh, originally the word jhana is uh, the, the work of the uh, five mental fetters. So we can say the unifications of the five mental fetters and balance. It is called jhana. <clears throat> jhana. So what are the jhana fetters? We already know. The initial application with Yaka and sustained application with Chara and Piti, Zets and Sukha, happiness. And Ikagata, the most important one in every level of jhana, uh, Ikagata uh, must be there. <clears throat> Without the 
Fetters of Ekagata, they are Shino Jana. So, in, in some level, the Jana drop, it is Fetter of Vidyaka Vichara and PT Sukha, and Sukha also or change to the uh, Upeka level. So, but then the one pointness never changes. So, we can say the one, one pointness uh, Ekagata uh, is the uh, <clears throat> the the most important feathers of the jhana. Uh, so through the practice of calm meditation, the development of the concentration, the one can attain the jhana. This is the high meditative attainment. Then if we be concerned about the original meaning of jhana, jhana means the contemplate, contemplation or the burning up. So if someone Pay attention on the sudden meditation object or any of the um, the uh, that team. So we were classifying the <clears throat> among the forty meditation object. Meditation object only thirty can give five the jhana. So if someone paying attention or contemplating on this the object, then his mind is concentrated and reaching to the 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 sudden level which the manifests. You know, the, the five men, the feathers keep in balance, then, <clears throat> and this, that is called the jhana. But here, in the in case of the definition of jhana, uh, some later scholar reject into the Abhidhamma view, and they, they express the level of jhana in the lower stages. So if you can maintain the the feathers in balance, <clears throat> it is called jhana. They just keep this one, but they 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 ignore the sudden level. So in Abhidhamma, uh, the jhana level as the the higher meditative attainment have the specific qualities to focus on the Padibhaga Nimitta, <clears throat> which is the, the, the object of, of jhana meditation, the samatha meditation. But in some scholar is press or not necessary to talk about the, the Padibhaga Nimitta. So you just focus on the right meditation object and if you can keep in maintaining your uh, mental feather, the essential mental feathers are uh, in balance. And if you can and make your mind uh, free from the mental hindrances, this is called jhana. This is you know, new way of expression. But in the Abhidhamma, it is not uh, in that low level of concentration. Because here, <clears throat> closely contemplate is like entering to the the objects and burning up the 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 opposite of the concentration. These are called the the mental hindrances. So nivarana, nivarana. Yeah, mental hindrances: sensual desire, evil, sloth and torpor, and restless and worry and doubt. <clears throat> and not only you know wiping off for a moment. It is say this a burning. The meaning of jhana is burning up. That's why we can consider uh, during the forest fires. So in forest fire, some um, grass and there's more plants are burned up, but later they grew up again. And but after burning up for the certain period of time, they cannot grow up. Uh, in the same way, uh, because this this word jhana has the meaning to express the burning of the the opposite man, the feathers of uh, the five man, the hundred So if we talk about the absent or wiping out for a moment of the nivarana, it, when we are developing the sensual uh, wholesome consciousness. Or when we are studying and chanting, or the paying paying attention on the object, at that moment, 
the manifestors uh, of the nirvana also cannot arise. We can say that is the uh, temporary uh, removing or wiping off for a moment. But for jhana, it has the higher powers uh, to burn up. <clears throat> so uh, in certain periods of time, this this in five minutes, hindrances cannot come into appear in the mind. This is the difference of the jhana power from the, uh, the common wholesome, sensual wholesome consciousness. Okay, so <clears throat> for the jhana jitta, the consciousness accompanied by jhana. So jhana is the unification of the a five minute feathers in balance, sometimes four or three or like this. And um, in the chapter one, we order identifying the sublime consciousness, sublime consciousness or called jhana jitta or together 27. So five metrics sphere consciousness 15 and eight metrics sphere consciousness 12. <clears throat> so these are called the jhana through the development of the is the calm meditation we can get. It. <clears throat> then here in this chapter of the Kamatana Sangha, chapter nine, the 14 meditation subjects are explained in seven group, in seven group. So uh, the first group is Dasa Kasinani. So Kasina especially is a meditation dex, meditation device. <clears throat> Normally explained is the round shape, is the circle shape, uh, which is called casina. This one, and there are ten casina. We will we will explain later. And that's the asuba, the fullness of of meditation, meditation subject are ten kinds, and this is the opposite of the beautiful. <clears throat> Suba is beautiful one, and asuba is the the fullness, and. After the the anusati, ten anusati, ten recollection, so recollection of the Buddha Dhamma Sangha. So here anusati, uh, sati we already know sati is mindfulness, or according to the Hebrew uh, body's translation, it is attentiveness to the object, and to the right object. <clears throat> and that is sati. Then anusati is a uh, keeping this uh, attentiveness repeatedly. This is called Anu Sati. Anu is repeatedly, uh, <clears throat> again and again. So recollection of the Buddha, Buddha Anu Sati, recollection of the Baju of the Buddha. So uh, paying attention to the, to the right object uh, repeatedly. That is called Anu Sati. So ten recollection. <clears throat> then Chattaro Apamanyayo. So here, apamanya illimitable. We already talked this war apamanya in these chapters uh, two, in second chapter, uh, is when we are talking about the two apamanya jitasika, karuna and murita. But here, four apamanya, including mitta and upeka. So mitta, karuna, murita, upeka. But <clears throat> as a separate mental factors, only two. That's why. And you should not confuse. Here, four apamanya. And in chapter two, only two apamanya. So we already explained there. The metta is identifying as the adosa, mandafetas, and not hatred. And ubika is identifying as the <coughs> equanimity of the dristatramajatata in the mandafetas. Okay, here, uh, another group is Ikasanya, this is perception, one perception and one analyze. So perception related to the food. And they analyze the elements. After their their full immaterial attainment, immaterial states. Uh, <clears throat> these are 14 meditation in subject. 40 meditation subject. So we will talk this later. And <clears throat> all of them are considered as, as the summit, uh, the object of med uh, samatha meditation. <clears throat> the object of samatha meditation, whoever went to practice the calm meditation, 
he can pick any of them and he can pick and pr continue to practice. But <clears throat> among the uh, 14 meditation object, uh, some can give rise to jhana and some cannot give rise to jhana. <clears throat> so here, uh, the 10 meditation subject, when you practice on these 10, you cannot attain the jhana because <clears throat> they cannot support for the attainment of jhana. Or other way we can say, they cannot support the stability or concentration up to the attainment of jhana. And <clears throat> these are, uh, uh, we can briefly say the uh, eight recollection, eight, eight kinds of recollection, and one perception and one analyze. So altogether, 10 cannot give rise to the <clears throat> attainment of <clears throat> jhana. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> and these eight recollection, you can find the Buddha no city, et cetera. <clears throat> so, so <clears throat> recollection of the Buddha. Here, not only the Buddha is expressed, especially in the Visuddhi Mega, uh, the focusing on the Buddha's Pachu, Araham, as Sama Samburo, etc., picking up one of the Pachu and recollecting. <clears throat> and this refers to the, um, the, the Buddha's the ultimate reality related to the Buddha <clears throat> and the Dhamma, etc. Uh, here, Sangha also uh, related to focusing on the meaning of the object, <clears throat> meaning of the the, the Bhattu. After they're trying to reach to the um, ultimate reality and that's why they cannot support for the attainment of jhana. So the, the meditation subject that can support for the attainment of jhana <clears throat> uh, will be defined later uh, as the nimitta. So here are 10 meditation subject. And here general city was so jagano city. And after that, the Maranano Sati. And these are eight um, recollections that, that cannot support for the attainment of jhana. Then the perception of Haribrikula Sanya and the Chetudadu Vautana are also uh, cannot support. Here, the Ahari Sanya focusing on the nutri nutriment, nutriment, and the Chetudadu Vautana, the four elements, four elements are also ultimate reality. And <clears throat> here, these are, are all referring to the ultimate reality, Brahmata, Brahmata Dhamma. They don't support for the attainment of jhana. The remaining meditation subject can can give rise <clears throat> the attainment of jhana. So altogether, 30 meditation practice. 10 casino, 10 fullness, and here, mindfulness occupying with the bodies and mindfulness of breathing, two, two practice of mindfulness. <clears throat> this is very popular one, Kaya Katasati. And the four uh, illimitables. After they are, they are um, uh, the four kinds of the practice here, they are loving, kindness, compassion, appreciated, joy, and equanimity. Uh, we can say this is Brahma Vihara <clears throat> or uh, Illimitiva. And the four immaterial states. We already studied the four immaterial states. The first one, Agasana Jayarana, second one, Vinyana Jayarana, and the third one, Agin Jayarana, and the last one, Nivasanya Nasanyarana. These are four immaterial states. <clears throat> Their name are same as the, the four immaterial consciousness. <clears throat> okay, so our, we already introduced uh, some parts of this table uh, to identify which 
meditation subject uh, can can cause to the attainment of their hojana. <clears throat> so tenkasina through the practice of tenkasina, uh, one can get the the all kinds of jhana up to the fifth fifth one. And for the <clears throat> asuba bhavana, asuba practice, only first jhana can attain. So, uh, then mindfulness occupied with body, the kaya kadasati, also give rise only one kind of fast jhana. And mindfulness of breathing, anapanasati, this can give rise all kinds of jhana. So, through the practice of <clears throat> anapanasati, uh, you can attain all kinds of jhana up to the highest level. And the same as the casino. Then <clears throat> the loving kindness, compassion, and appreciated joy, three of the illimitable uh, can give rise up to the fourth jhana according to Abhidharma classification. But the last one, the highest one, you may remember this associated with the upika virana, the feeling of equanimity. So that's why this cannot come through the practice of the, the Mitta, Karuna, and Murita. So the fifth one can attain through the practice of equanimity. <clears throat> After practicing uh, loving kindness, compassion, and appreciated joy, uh, he need to change the object uh, of meditation to the, uh, the Ubika practice. <clears throat> Then for the immaterial states, so immaterial states are just uh, equivalent to the the fourth, fifth jhana in this case in the Abhidhamma classification. And then here in this uh, class, I need to add some more information to identify um, uh, whether the meditation object is concept of ultimate reality, because we said the ultimate reality is the con the subject of meditation which is referring to the ultimate reality it does not support to attainment of jhana here <clears throat> the 10 10 meditation subject but the other meditation practice in the other meditation practice what are the object so here casino all are concept but at the beginning if you make the casino device or meditation device with the path <clears throat> to develop the ask casino, the 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 for the beginner, the physical one that is we call the the ultimate reality, the group of ultimate reality. But uh, not focusing on the ultimate reality, focusing on the concept, but we casino <clears throat> that is focusing on the concept uh, from the beginning. So developing the Batawi Batawi. So contemplating as the Batawi Batawi. And one trying to uh, start his meditation practice of the calm meditation, Samatha meditation. Then that you may remember there, uh, if we talk about the concept at, at the end of the <clears throat> chapter eight. The Patawi is one kind of the, uh, the referring to the concept if we talk about the Patawi, uh, the real earth, physical earth. And from the beginning is focusing on the concept and then continue to the, the um, level of the, the learning sign. So preliminary sign after the learning sign, up to the counterpart sign. Counterpart sign is the pure uh, concept. So reaching to the pure concept, then he can attain the jhana. That's why we can understand all kasina, although at the beginning it is mixed with the ultimate reality, but focusing on the concept. <clears throat> the, the focus should go to the concept, then develop. After that, it just focus on the pure concept of the um, produced by the mind, which is called counterpart sign. It reach to the <clears throat> jhana level. Then the fullness, fullness meditation, the 10, <clears throat> also all are concept. As for the fullness meditation, one we also, uh, the, uh, the, 
the body, dead body, etc. You know, the disgusting aspect of dead body, disgusting, disgusting nature of the dead body. But uh, he's not paying attention on the ultimate reality. If he just pay attention on the ultimate reality, the foreigners will not come because everything just arises and, and passes away. It's the, <clears throat> the impermanent nature. So only when he pay attention on the the body, he mess with the concept and then observing the with the concept of a uh, discussion, he can develop the fullness meditation after the, the attainment of jhana. Then here mindfulness occupied with the body. So actually, there's uh, our physical body. Although we, we can see in this form, but they are not existing in the solid, solid way. Uh, everything comes in the process here in the physical body. The materialities come in the process and rising and passing away and through the replacement. <clears throat> then we see the body. So mindfulness occupied with the body also uh, focusing on the concept. The mindfulness of breathing is uh, the breath is one on um, the group of materialities, anapana, and loving kindness, compassion, and appreciated joy, including the, the equanimity. All the uh, apamanya also focusing on the concept of being, so concept of living beings. So without the concept of living being, he cannot develop this meditation, and for the immaterial state. So two, the first and the third, or Agasana Jayarana, pay attention on the space. Space is concept. And <clears throat> the, uh, the third one, pay attention on the um, uh, on, on the Nati Bhava. So this is the absent, absent. This is also a kind of a concept. So the first and third focus on, on the concept. So we can get the all together 28 meditation object of the concept. <clears throat> then there are among the 30 meditation objects that give rise to the attainment of jhana, only two of fourth and fifth. Oh sorry, it should be uh, so this should change, you know, the fourth and okay. This one second and fourth. You can say the second and fourth. So here I made a mistake. <clears throat> There's no fourth and fifth. The only second and fourth. So second one, when you are not jayarana, observing the first, first consciousness, the agasa nanjayarana consciousness, and develop. And that's why the second one focusing on the ultimate reality, this consciousness. And the fourth one focusing on the third consciousness. That is why. <clears throat> Only these two uh, immaterial state of second and fourth are ultimate reality. So uh, in this way, you can um, classify 14 meditation subject into the concept and ultimate reality. So 28 concept and 12 ultimate realities. Okay, so this this slide, uh, the, the following slide I already mentioned. I just need to remind you to uh, to study uh, so that you can understand how <clears throat> one can attain the jhana. And here are uh, three stages of mental development. Although this, uh, this three stages of mental development, bhavana and three stages of meditation sign nimitta are mentioned here in the chapter nine. And because uh, we need to know on them first in order to understand the classification of jhana and the process for the attainment of jhana. And I already introduced them in the earlier uh, class. So here, Prikama Bhavana, Preliminary Development, Upachara Bhavana, Assess Development, and Apana Bhavana, Absorption Development. And then meditation sign also, Prikama Nimitta, preliminary sign. So here you see the, the similar name, <clears throat> but if we match together with the development and the sign, they, come, they will not come in this way. And here, second one, 
of Nimida is Lanyan sign, Ogaha Nimida. And the last one, Kaundapa sign is Padibhaga Nimida. So let's see how uh, we can match. So preliminary developments. Uh, okay. So, so here, preliminary development occur from the time of one begin the practice. So uh, as soon as you start the meditation, we can say you reach to the preliminary development. You start from the preliminary development. And Parikama Pawana. So this reach up to the, um, the the stage you suppress, you can suppress the five mental hindrances due to the, the suppression of these five mental hindrances without the um, obstacle or disturbance of these mental hindrances, the counter sign come to appear in your mind. You can see the counter sign. And up to the appearance, we can see the uh, preliminary development. Then, after the continual practicing, <clears throat> when the countable sign appear and focusing on countable sign, and uh, after the attainment of jhana, uh, during this time, and starting from focusing on the countable sign, that is called the SS development, until the attainment of jhana. At the moment of attainment of jhana, which is called the absorption, that is called the absorption development. So. <clears throat> You know, if we write, <clears throat> and it, it's very long. So you can note that from the beginning to the counterpart sign appear during that time is preliminary development. So focusing on counterpart sign up to the attainment of jhana during this time is asset development. And then the absorption moment is called the absorption development. This is easy way to remember. So <clears throat> the both, Five material sphere and immaterial sphere are called the jhana absorption. <clears throat> then, okay, for the, the sign at the beginning, for the beginner, he focus on the arctic, etc. Whatever meditation object is start with the preliminary sign. <clears throat> but for for the uh, ten meditation practice, just develop up to the second level. So, oh, sorry, the second level of development, which is called the SS development only. But here, uh, the process of the sign, meditation sign is at the beginning, uh, when you can see the object, uh, like the objects, uh, the Patawi Kasina, you can see by your eye, physical eye, and that is preliminary sign. When it comes into mind door, you can see by your mind, it mean, um, that appear in your mind. It's very clear as if you were seen by eye, physical, uh, like you are seen by eye. It's clearly appear in mind. It's called the learning sign. Then <clears throat> it reached to the uh, fist into your mind, fist into your mind, and, and born of the, um, the concept. It is concept, born of the meditation power. So concentration is uh, is make uh, the appearance of the counter per sign. Then that moment is called counter per sign. <clears throat> so the meditation sign, meditation object also or uh, divided into three types in three level. Then <clears throat> after the uh, here the focusing on the counter per sign when he continue. Establishment of the concentration, his mind, and reach to the jhana level. So, <clears throat> so at the moment of jhana level, also the focus is on the counter per sign. <clears throat> so, when the, the meditator practices his meditation, focusing on counter per sign uh, with the SS, SS development, with the SS concentration. And finally, he reached to the starting level, which is called jhana. It's called first jhana. Then, if someone wish to continue to the attainment of second jhana, and he need to practice the first jhana uh, to be skillful, to be mastery in five kinds, you know, the advancing 
uh, this is called the avajana, and attainment, samabajana, and resolution, uh, uh, make, making determination, making resolution, and then emerges uh, to come out from the jhana and reviewing, <clears throat> reflection on the jhana fetus and consciousness after the the emergence of the jhana, emergence from the jhana. Uh, these are five kinds of mastery. Okay, so after uh, being practiced uh, skillfully in five five ways, then he can continue uh, for the attainment of second jhana. So to attain the second jhana, he need to do uh, two two activity here to abandon the gross feathers like the vidyaka. So <clears throat> at the First jhana, vidyaka is considering. That, cons that vidyaka considers as the gross feather compared to the second jhana, second jhana feather. That's when vidyaka draw. Then, to give rise the successive subject feather. So, in the second jhana of Abhidhamma classification, still contain the vichara, but the vichara is, is more subtle, subtler than the, the vichara in first jhana. So <clears throat> to arouse the, uh, the successes subtle jhana and uh, such as here the sustained application with jhana. So in this way uh, when he, he success by doing so to abandon the gross feather and then to keep rise the subtle feathers and he attained the second jhana. In this way, he continued after the attainment of the highest immature jhana. And this is called the eight meditation attainments. Okay, so uh, in this uh, class, I'm just trying to introduce uh, Samatha and Vipassana meditation. And I'm just trying to remind uh, what we have studied in, in the previous lesson about this samatha and vipassana meditation. Okay, thank you very much for your um, uh, attention. Yeah. Oh, that's... Uh, first question. Dear Sayadaw, when it said that jhana burns up the hindrances, does it not mean that the hindrances are reduced and then gradually eradicated? But it is also said that this is only temporary. That is, while in jhana, how to reconcile the two interpretations? Thank you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay. So th this is, as my, I mentioned, uh, with the example of the forest fires, uh, because the temporary removing in short time, like the, in, the, in the surface of the water, in the lake, if you uh, remove the 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 dry leaves and the and the other things you no know, you just remove floating on the on the water then they come in short time they come especially if it is very obvious if we are seeing the the water uh on the surface the oil so oil on the water's surface then we remove them just immediately come back in the same way, <clears throat> the temporary removing by the uh, sensual uh, wholesome, sensual wholesome power is very short compared to the, the uh, removing uh, by the power of jhana is less long. So it takes long time, <clears throat> just like the, um, the grass and, and plants, some plants are they come to arise again after forest fire. They need to take time. In the same way, the <clears throat> hindrances after uh, removing um, from the uh, by the power of jhana, it needs time to come back. And here, they gradually uh, reduce and gradually eradicate it. You can see, <clears throat> but eradication, not completely eradication for temporary uh, removing only temporarily removing. So is, that's why not burn off uh, to the ultimate uh, eradication. 
this ultimate eradication come with the power of Mecca. So once these hindrances and including all the defilements are uh, eradicated by the power of Mecca, they all go, they will never return to, to arise. <clears throat> but for the jhana, uh, if the, the power of jhana is gone, and if the condition, this condition come to appear, and then the mental hindrance arise again, <clears throat> that's why we can see this is the median level of eradication or removing. And so when they, these hindrances are uh, uh, you know, different from the <clears throat> gradually reducing uh, initial practice before the attainment of jhana, uh, the mental hindrances are, are already stay away from the the practice because um, the sensual wholesome consciousness focusing on the meditation practice, this meditative mind and the power of that, they are already gradually reduced and only a few times happen and also the weak uh, position, they, they appear in the mind. But in the Jhana level, they are uh, considered as, as the burn up, they are burn up, so uh, disappear the moment to the starting period of time. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Brother Kyung Han, and then let's make inspiration and let's share our merit to all beings. Please repeat after me. Imi na punya kami na. Imi na punya kami na. Mami bala samagamo. Mami bala samagamo. Satam samagamo hodu. Satam samagamo hodu. Yava nipana badia. Yava nipana badia. Idame bunyam. Idame bunyam. Asawa kaya waha hodu. Asawa kaya waha hodu. Idame bunyam. Idame bunyam. Nibana sa bajayo hodu. Nibana sa bajayo hodu. Mama bunya bagam. Mama bunya bagam. Saba satanam bajemi. Saba satanam bajemi. Esa be. Esa be. Esa mam. Me samam. Punya bagam labandu. Punya bagam labandu. Satu, satu, satu.